Ellsworth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my honourable friend for his answer. And it's good to see my right honourable friend and the team on the front bench. Um, I've been fortunate enough to work in all four corners of this great union and, and Cornwall. Oh, he's, he's gone. Um, um, <laughs> but we have fought shoulder to shoulder for freedom and democracy uh, all over the world, not least at Waterloo and the landing beaches of Normandy. Does my honourable friend agree that it would be foolish to, get this, to let this great and successful union fall apart on a whim uh, with the aid of the likes of Mel Gibson, etc.? <laughs> Um, should there not be a legislated time frame, say 25 years, before another referendum can be held? Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my honourable friend for his uh, ex excellent and very well made and very well humoured uh, points, as always. But people across Scotland want both of their governments to be working together and focusing their attention and resources on the issues that matter to them and not talking about yet another independence referendum.